This video is sort of a Cliff Notes version of a longer video that I'm in the process of making. It's about how to um, basically skip the timer associated with defensive driving courses. And the course in particular is Hey, then the number four, less simple defensive driving.com. Basically, there's a state requirement that says that the course has to meet a mandatory amount of minutes. So for each page, they have a little timer on there um, that changes depending on what chapter you're on, from six minutes to eight minutes to ten minutes, I think. And it's going to uh, prevent you from going to the next page until that timer reaches zero. So with this really quick and easy trick, I'm going to show you how you can bypass that. So this video, like I said, is kind of just cuts and pieces of a longer video. So what it starts with, um, I just want to point out, it's right clicking on a particular item brings up the, um, the menu in Google Chrome. You can click on inspect element to bring up uh, Chrome's um, web tools. And uh, that's pretty much where we start from. When you right click and you go inspect element, if you don't see the console down there, it's this little icon that'll pop up. You click it to open the console, uh, just FYI. So, um, and also uh, your actual um, little editor might pop up on the side as a, it seems to default to that now. Just by clicking that, you can move it back and forth. And granted, uh, like I said, this is in this is in Google Chrome, F uh, Firefox. It's pretty much exactly the same. Uh, in Windows Internet Explorer, I believe it's F12 or it's, uh, maybe Control F12 or something brings it up. And I don't exactly know how to get to the console on that because I don't use that. If you actually go ahead and you inspect the element, the actual button element, you can see that it's an input button. On click, it's going to run JavaScript, and it's going to run this JS continue, um, and then passing it the value, in this case, 480, um, which is the amount of seconds it's going to use. So if we want to change this, all we do is JS continue, pass it, zero. Now, you have to be careful before you hit enter because this is automatically going to take you to the next page, unless I spelled something wrong. No. So it automatically takes you to the next page. So that's all that you're going to have to do, just to skip through each page, is just copy the page, and then uh, in console type, you know, that JS continue uh, zero, hit enter. And uh, it's as simple as that. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more like it, please give it a thumbs up. You can subscribe if you want to see other videos. Uh, or let me know if you have any questions uh, in the comments below or any videos you'd like to see. And uh, as always, thank you for watching. If you do sign up, um, feel free to use my code. It's 80245. And uh, that'll get me $2, supposedly.